metamorphosis. And we're gonna just do a get ready with me. No, it's not Makeup Monday. Yes, I've only done one Makeup Monday anyway, and it was an epic fail. So um, if any of you saw that, you know that I lost half my footage. So you really only saw like the skincare part of it, which I won't be doing today. And, <clears throat> excuse me, and then like the final look. So, um, we're just gonna do a get ready with me. I figured, you know what, why not? Um, I work tonight, it's five o'clock, and I am just now putting makeup on. Um, so I told you guys I cut, I cut bangs, they're a little shaggy. I gotta spruce them up a little, but anyway. And I just kinda cut a few layers in my hair, so I did, um, did a little curl today. My hair is kind of fly away right now. But anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, I am enjoying having bangs again and I'm excited to do this get ready with me video today. So we've got Sky in the background joining us. We've got Coco down here. As always, grab a drink, grab a snack. I'm sipping on a Pepsi and I will see you guys in just a few. <music> I've already, you know, we're not gonna do the skincare because I've already done the skincare part of it. I've moisturized and all of that jazz. So, um, you didn't get to see, like I said, a lot of this makeup. Um, this is gonna be all Dollar Tree makeup. So this is the Hard Candy Sensitive Skin Primer. And um, we are just gonna, shoot, you know what? I forgot my little beauty sponge, but that's okay. I'm gonna do a different foundation today. So we'll just do this with, with the fingers. We're just gonna, I forget I have my mirror right here. So we're just gonna wing it, okay? This is definitely a little different doing my makeup with bangs now. In fact, what I probably need to do, let's go ahead and pull these bad boys back for a minute because I'm going to need to get up there for makeup. So, all right. <laughs> Woo! I've got some out of control curls that need some serious help. That'll be for later. Okay. So I'm going to dab on some of this Hard Candy Primer, which I had just used for the first time this last time when I unfortunately didn't get to show you it. And I was really happy with it. I do put a little bit of this on my neck because um, I blend, you know, the foundation into my neck. Um, I have a foundation that's really like almost spot on um, that I absolutely love. I had, I should say. I just ran out of it. Um, that's probably the truest color that I've ever found. But anyway, so we're going to use, oh no, I'm not going to use that because, well, yeah, I guess we can, I'm going to use this even though I don't have my beauty blender, it's the Wet n Wild Cover All, and it's in 8HO2. So, yeah. And this is gonna be a little bit too dark, however, um, my, the other one might be a little bit too light for the little bit of color I have on my face. So yeah, so you won't see me using the beauty blender today, but you know, this is what I did in my younger years <laughs> before beauty blenders ever came about. Just rub this right in with our fingers. So hope everyone is doing well today. Hope you're all staying cool if you're in an area that is 
um, very hot, like where I'm at, I'm in um, Washington State, and where I'm at in Washington is, um, we've actually had record-breaking, um, record-breaking temperatures, so it has been about as hot as Arizona gets and some parts of California, so very, very, very hot, and I am not really liking that, but we are managing, all right, just like I'm managing <laughs> with putting this on my face with my hands. All right, just bring that down a little bit. This is not graceful today, guys. Like I said, this is just a little impromptu video, okay? So there, got all that taken care of, okay? And um, this is not the contour I used last time, and I'm... <laughs> If you watched the video, you did see that part where my little contour stick just kept flipping out of there, so that's garbage. But this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette. I've never used this before. It's really cool. It even has a little thing on the back that shows you where to place things. So it shows you how to highlight and illuminate. It shows you how to contour, and it shows you how to blend. So yeah. So, um, like I explained in my last video, if you saw it, I, um, oh wow, oh wow, this is powder, it's a, it's a, um, like not a cream, it's a, it's a powder, that's really interesting, so honestly, like I don't even know how do you, what do you put this on with? I think we're just going to skip on over to this that I haven't thrown away yet. Oh my gosh. And hopefully this thing's not going to fling out all over the place because it's falling out. So this is the LA Colors Contour Stick. Okay. And we're just going to work with it. All right. So um, like I said in my last video, I'm new with contouring. Um, I clearly am new with contouring. Um, and... Um, you know, it's kind of just one of those things that you just kind of practice and, um, you know, and just sort of, it's trial and error as far as I'm concerned. So, um, so yeah, I, uh, just gonna do this right here. That's just gonna help define my cheekbone a little bit and to start start at the like imagine a line from the top of the ear to like kind of where your pupil hits right there and then you know I kind of just do this to this little business down here to get rid of this um, lovely double portion of chin I've got going on and then I don't really need to do this up here but I'm going to because my hair is back um, kind of just to bring my forehead down a little because I have a very large forehead. So, all right. And I don't have my beauty blender. So, we're gonna use the stipple brush. This is, I always call it a stipple brush. Is that what it is? Yeah, it's a stipple brush. Okay, so this is by e.l.f. Again, these are all Dollar Tree, you guys. Got foundation on that. And we are going to do our blending with this today. So, you know, those lines you make are not, like I went down a little too far with cheekbone lines. So the good thing is the lines don't have to be perfectly placed. They don't have to be perfectly straight because we are going to blend. <laughs> so, just gonna blend down on this part. And, I'm gonna blend up on this part. Of course, these don't blend, this 
Dimple brushes, brushes are great, but it's not gonna blend like, for me, they don't blend. You have to kind of turn it sideways. The hairline as easily as the beauty blender would. So I just kind of turn that sideways to get a little more pressure. So I don't have a big old line on the top of my forehead. <laughs> and then we're just gonna blend this down. And you know what, honestly, I'm enjoying how this is blending better than the beauty blender as far as far as for the contour okay so like I said trial and error just kind of um, you know learn what you like as you try different things so um, of course I am not a uh, makeup artist or anywhere near that but I do love makeup and all things beauty and so yeah so there we are um, so we're gonna move on to um, and let's see I think sometimes I kind of like I'll do contour first again I haven't been doing it for very long concealer second or vice versa. For me, it doesn't really matter if they're not in the same places anyways. Um, if you are gonna do a contour around this area, you know, then of course I would do concealer first. So this is not the concealer I used last time, but this is Dollar Tree. This is Hard Candy and it's the Glamouflage Pro Full Coverage Concealer. Last time I used, of course, another Dollar Tree one. Let's see if I can find it. The LA Colors Conceal and Correct in the yellow. It's like kind of more of a brightening. So let's see what this does. Because this scares me a little, I'll be honest with you, because this is very, very white. Oh. Well, we're gonna see how this works. And I have got some serious, serious bags under my eyes today. All right, <laughs> so I'm actually just gonna do this with my fingers. Well, I'll tell you, this looks like it's covering better than maybe than the LA Colors one. I mean, I think they're just different. You know, the other one's more for brightening and this, like like I was reading to you, is full coverage. So, I have still not, and I explained this in my last video, but I think it was on the part that I lost. I have still not um, gone to get any um, powder. I need some setting powder or finishing powder. I'm all out, so. This is gonna be a little bit interesting to try to like get everything blended here together, okay? Um, so yeah, that's really white. So we're gonna have to be doing some, I'm gonna have to blend with some bronzer. But I do think that, I don't know, I still see huge bags under my eyes, but okay. And then I'm just gonna take this double brush and I'm just gonna kinda just blend that out. All right, so today I've got like this, it looks probably more red than it is on camera, but it is like a an orangey red. So with blue, so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get, and I've got one of the blue polka dot headbands in from Dollar Tree. I've got the blue and white and the black and white. I didn't get to haul those either, but I'm sure you've seen people haul those. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna use some of my fun blue um, makeup from the Dollar Tree. So, eye makeup. So, before we do that though, let me go ahead and let's see. I kind of feel like I forgot something. Oh, and I did. 
So I'm going to do actually this one that I was showing you on my lids a little bit. Just, I don't use the, um, necessarily like an eye concealer but I do like to have just a little bit of a base under there just to keep my mask or my mascara my eyeshadow from cracking and just to keep it on longer so all right we're gonna get these eyebrows done so I've got my LA colors brow cream gel and I know you guys didn't see my eyebrows done last time I don't think you did I've had this forever and I don't want to get rid of it because I haven't seen it again, but it's like a pomade type stuff, type consistency. And um, so I'm hoping that the Dollar Tree will, will carry this again soon because mine is kind of, it's still moist, but it's um, not as moist. So anyway, I'm just gonna use one of these. I use different brushes every time. Um, the Wet n Wild, again from the Dollar Tree, all Dollar Tree, and I'm using just the, it's a lip brush, but I'm using it for my eyebrows because I love the angled brushes. Oh, oh, I'm over here scratching. So tell me in the comments what you guys have been doing this summer. Has anyone been on vacation yet or, um, are you planning on going on vacation? Whether it's just like a weekend getaway or, you know, some fabulous trip to Hawaii or like a little getaway to Vegas or the beach or what? So yeah, let me know. I would love to know. Also, I'd love to know if you guys are aware of eyebrow, you know how there's um, mascara primer or eyelash primer? <laughs> um, I'm curious if there's brow primer. I'm sure there is. I'll show you, I'll show you something that does help, a couple things that, that help me with my brows. Um, as you guys can see, my brows are pretty non-existent as far as color so you know I need I have to draw them in and um, my hair on my brows is very um, I'm they're not very my eyebrows aren't very full so and it's like the hair right here is nice and you know thicker but the hair right here is a little more on the fine side and I apologize you guys because this is not easy doing brows on here I am looking in my little LED mirror and I don't even have the light on so give me one second here where's my little button hopefully it's not gonna be doing a weird so that's like a see a lot better but hopefully this isn't gonna be I mean I know I'm like illuminated right now but yes this is definitely going to be helping with my brows so um. my my brows are so light that when I actually use my little I just use a little electric trimmer which don't look closely because I need to do that but um, I actually have to paint my eyebrows on like this and then because my eyebrows are so light then I trim around where I know my eyebrow needs to be or where I want it so so yeah um, and hi kitty hi you little lover you little stinker but you are a little lover she's I think I've told you this before. She's like a Sour Patch Kid. You just don't know what you're gonna get. She's um, 
he could be kissing you, you know, like every other cat. One minute, and get down. And then she will swat you in the face. You know, she's a sassy girl. Aren't you? Aren't you, Katie? So, I was gonna do my eyebrows off camera um, so that this isn't five, hour, five hours long, but um, some people like to see how people do their eyebrows. So, and you know, I could spend forever on mine trying to perfect them. And um, I just kind of want to show you that even though my eyebrows are very high maintenance, it really doesn't take me a horribly long time to do them. I know some people um, do spend a lot of time on their eyebrows. Um, I just, I just don't, and I just, I'm not willing to, um, to be that meticulous with mine. Whoops. As you can see, I just went way out of the line. So, um, my imaginary line. So, so yeah, we're almost done with these. And then I will show you a couple little cool makeup products I use, of course, from the Dollar Tree. Um, so that maybe if you want some, if you need some eyebrow help or tips, not that mine are the best by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, you know, then maybe I can send those tips your way. So I've got two things. I've got one is the Mega Clear Wet n Wild. Okay. And this is clear mascara, which I use on my eyebrows. And the other is the e.l.f. and it's the wax stick. And you just turn it up here at the bottom. So I'm going to go over my eyebrows. I'm not pushing hard. This, oops, <laughs> this helps a little bit just to kind of get some more stain power. Plus, like you can see like where I kind of have these little bald spots. And so, um, so I can see where I have to go back in and fill in with a little more brow gel. very uneven right now. I'm trying to stay in camera. I also feel a little rude, like constantly looking away from the camera, but that's part of a get ready with me. I am not talented enough to be uh, trying to guess where stuff is, especially my eyebrows. Okay, so that's good enough for right now. And, um, so I did, you know, the little bit of brow um, wax. And then, because my eyebrows are not thick, I like to use, and actually I don't think I'm gonna do it today because usually I'll do this when I need to lighten my eyebrows a little bit. I'll just take this and I'll kind of just go over it because it'll lighten them a little bit. Um, but it also helps to set them extra, but I kind of am liking the color I've got going on today and we don't want to spend any more time on eyebrows. So let's get on into bronzer and this is the LA Colors bronzer and I am just going to use this little elf brush and it's the angled brush actually a bronzing brush if you do full uh, if you don't use bronzer and you you do full um, you know blush in that area where you would do bronzer or contour um, this is also a really good brush to use so I'm just gonna kind of go right there where the contour was Yes, I know I went the wrong way. That was weird, but I don't know. My hand was just turned that way, I guess. So. <laughs> and I'm just 
just gonna uh, turn that trying to blend that contour down and of course when I get a little bit more in the natural light I'm gonna need to go and fix some things okay so all right I'm gonna use this this is beauty benefits from the Dollar Tree like a watermelon color it is. Let's see if they give give a color here. I don't see one. So I am just going to use my little shadow switcher. I've already got the top off from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna get that bronzer off of there and then I'm just gonna like take the tip of this just because I don't have my other brush with me and I'm just gonna lightly tap that there and then just do that in the apple of my cheek just for a little little bit of color all right and then I'm going to whoa sorry about that I'm just gonna blend a little bit the you know the hairline and the neckline with my big brush which is also from elf and of course from the Dollar Tree it's the big flat brush all right and let's move on to eyeshadow let's see if we can finish this up in about five minutes so let me go ahead and do eyeliner first. All right, so this is one of the um, LA Colors eyeliners in cobalt blue. Just a little bungee twist up, the retractable. And I'm just gonna put this on my waterline. If I do eyeliner, unless I'm doing like some wings on top I normally just do my waterline and I kind of go a little bit under my waterline as well if you can see that so um like I explained in my last video that didn't get that part didn't get aired um if you don't want your eyes to look smaller you are going to want to use a light color um I really don't care about that I mean you know but um okay let me show you this this is hard candy from the Dollar Tree, all these super cool, vibrant colors. Please excuse my janky nails. And we are going to use, okay, so I said this in the last thing, last video that got lost, but these are not from the Dollar Tree. I have five of these, but these are from Big Lots and they were just $5 for five. So, um, dollar a piece. So I'm just gonna use this one and I'm just going to do this cobalt blue in the corner here. That's what I'm calling it anyway. And I'm just going to put it barely on my lid. Since I'm doing all these bright blues, I'm not going to like do, you know, make, um, eyeshadow in my crease or anything like that. And I use brushes, but I also use um, eyeshadow sponge brushes because um, 
I like both for different things. Normally I'd be using the sponge down here, but because this is such a vibrant color, um, I'm just using the brush. So, all right. Move this out of the way. And I forgot to do my highlighter. I'll do that last. I absolutely love the Wet n Wild Mega Wear. I hope they never start bringing this stop bringing this to the Dollar Tree. I love it. I use it in the very black. Oh, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Rewind. We're using the Snapscara, the Maybelline Snapscara, and I'm using this in the, oh my gosh, that is really RD02 or 02, and I can't read the color name, but it's like a cobalt blue, and I'm not usually a fan of curved brushes, but I love this mascara, you guys. This mascara is so, I, I don't know. I hope you can see on camera how it makes my little wimpy lashes so lengthy and full. if I'm going in the right direction. Um, I am extremely satisfied with this mascara. So I usually do two layers. So I will like do a top on each one. Pretty good layer. And then I'll go to the bottom. to the top because like I said my eyelashes are wimpy so they need all the help they can get which is two layers for sure um, so I have this in I'm sure you've seen lots of people haul these um, I have this in a couple other colors as well and this is the only one I've tried so far. I mean, I've worn this a few different times. Um, oh, I felt part of my bangs come down. We don't need a blue line on my head. So, so yeah, I mean, I'll see if I can get a little up close and personal with you guys so you can see how beautiful, excuse my nose, it is runny today a little bit. Oh goodness, I should have some Kleenex next to me. Anyway, I'm hoping you can see how beautiful that makes my lashes, especially compared to see the second layer, what it does. I hope you can see that. So I'm just gonna go over here with the second layer, get the brush turned right, and then I'll just give you a last peek at my eyelashes. And I don't do a second layer on my bottom. I don't like a whole lot of mascara on the bottom lashes. Second layer on the bottom. <laughs> you know what I mean. You know. All right. So there's that. All right. So hopefully you didn't see up my nose or see this little drippy mess I got going on here. Okay. And I don't know. Oh, okay. I need to do two things first. So I forgot to, this is like a little too white for me under here. And so I'm gonna put a little bit of bronzer on there. So I'm gonna take that same brush.
because I don't have, like I said, any setting powder right now, okay? All right, you guys. So, let's, let's get this piece of bangs back first. All right. Um, I'm gonna go back with, I use the same LA colors in the highlighter. And let's see here. Gonna use this little guy, one of my little pink sparklies from that Big Lots brush set. Brush set. Gonna use this one just right in the corner. And I'm going to use a little bit bigger one. Whoops. Sorry for the shaking, guys. A little bit bigger one for right under my, my brow. for now it's like the kind of pointy fluffy brush the round one Ooh. and that I'm just gonna kind of put on the side and then I'm gonna do just right here and I'm gonna do some blending just gonna tap this All right, so I just need to do some lips. I'm not even gonna do lip liner. This um, video has gone long enough. And plus, I don't have blue lip liner. And I'm wondering if I should be as bold um, so bold as to wear this blue Maybelline lipstick number 840 midnight blue is what it looks like so I thought you know what why not let's just do this for fun um, when I go to work I'll switch it to this color mates it's like a rust color you know it matches my shirt here on my nose so um, so yeah let's let's just do it Melissa from Issa Life, this is for you, girl. For my my gothic girl. All right. Ooh. Okay. Take the slobber out of the creases of my mouth. My lips are absolutely disappearing. I hardly have any lips whatsoever. Looks like I'm eating them. I know. You know what? You just... You just, oh, woo! Okay, you just don't know what you're gonna get with me, okay? You don't. You will get real and raw, I'll tell you that. All right. I have to tell you, I'm absolutely loving this lipstick, you guys. All right. back to working for DoorDash and I'll explain that on another video. I'm also working for Uber Eats soon. I'm just waiting for that background check because Postmates, which I was working for as well, uh, meshed with Uber Eats. So, oh, uh -huh. glad this comes off easily. Okay. So I just got to do some rubbing together my lips for a minute so I can fix some spots. So anyway, technically, you know, 
doing gig work or whatever you want to call it, you know, independent contractor work, you can, I mean, I could go golf girl tonight. Why not? I know my kids, I don't know, they might be like, are you having a midlife crisis, mom? Maybe I am. That's all right. out of the lines with this stuff okay so <laughs> you guys I okay yeah it got it got very blue very very blue up in here and I am loving it so we're gonna go ahead and I might just kind of wear my bangs no I won't be able to because I already did them like that so let's just get a quick little fix and go ahead and get my little um, see how fine my hair is just having my bangs back that long made it super hard to get them back where they need to be but anyway I'm gonna put my little headband back on because I think it's gonna look super cute with my lips so, so yeah, you guys, we did it. No lost footage this time. This is coming to you just like this. I love you. I thank you if you've watched this far and even if you made it five minutes with me, thank you so much, you guys. If you have not subscribed, please do so. Um, hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. I want you to be part of this crazy family. So um, give me a like if you liked this sort of content. Send me a comment down below because I want to get to know you and I want to hear from you. So all I see are my lips moving right now. <laughs> so um, you guys stay blessed, take care, stay safe. I love each and every one of you and I will see you later with the Dollar Tree.